What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and this video we got some new rumors on the Scream game to discuss and kind of my spin on it. Now, this obviously comes from Beyond the Mask, but his source that seemingly has something to do with Supermassive, or they know the inside of Supermassive. Uh, last time we talked, right, we had the tipster, and the tipster seems to be the individual from all things that I can understand. The tipster seems to be the leaker that's talked about the Scream game. Now, there's a lot of things he's talked about. None of it has happened yet. So while I want to believe this, and while more information I feel like makes it more believable, you know, the more you hear about it, the you hear the backstory or, you know, what kind of game it's going to be, the more you say, okay, well, it's either somebody who's really investing their life into making something fake, but making it sound believable, or it just is real, right? However, the tipster hasn't gotten anything right in terms of, I think I've covered like 10 or so of his leaks. Things are supposed to happen in October. The Scream game is one of them. Silent Hill 2 Remake, which I'm very much waiting for. That's another one, both of which are supposed to be in October. So we will see what happens on those two fronts. But the new stuff we have today is big. It's interesting. It's also slightly confusing. I'm going to go in order with what Beyond the Mask said. And one of the first things he said is that it would have different modes, and one of which would involve playing as the killer, the killer's point of view. And this is confusing to me although it like is it believable i guess it's possible what i thought when i hear that or when you know him and i were kind of talking behind the scenes when i hear different mode i feel like that could just be the insider getting something wrong because you think it's super massive they don't do that and when you think of a single player choice based game there are no modes single player is the mode that's only one thing right however we actually saw this with until dawn i guess you see it in a way with the quarry but until dawn i think more specifically you're playing as a bunch of different characters, right? And you do that in all the super massive games. Well, for Until Dawn, like, you are playing at certain parts the killer. Uh, or at least the fake killer who then become, you know, then it becomes a little bit more supernatural without, I guess, spoiling a uh, almost 10-year-old game. So in a way, they flirted with the idea, and that's what I think. That's how I think they would do it with this rumored Scream game is, say, it's a cast of, like, seven. And you play as all seven of them. One or two of them could be the killers, but you yourself may not even know that as you're playing. Now, it's possible you do know it as you're playing. I think that takes a lot of the mystery out because then it's like, okay, you're playing as seven of them. Two of them are the killers. When you play as those characters, you know what you're doing and why. how would that actually work? In fact, maybe Heavy Rain is the best example of this because Heavy Rain, one-fourth of the game, you are playing as the killer and you have no idea. There's clues and hints and stuff, but you don't know until the end, right? And then you do not play as that person. So that's actually exactly what I think Scream is going to do. I think Heavy Rain's a better example. The Scream game, I think you'd play as the victims, or you play as actually everybody, including potentially the killers, but you would only do non-killer things. So if you get attacked by Ghostface, maybe it's the other killer that's attacking at that time. And then at the end of the game, when Ghostface would be revealed, you're playing as whoever's left, the survivors, and you would go from there. That's exactly what I... Which, that is not more modes. That's one mode, and it's just you're playing as... Mo that's how I read into it could be wrong it could literally be a single player game with alternate modes where it's like a killer mode like you're but I, I don't know they've never done anything like that that doesn't seem like something they would do and and I guess you just have to wait and kind of see on that he talked about it kind of being more dark and less meta than the movies I have no issue with that um you have to have a little of it I believe I feel like you'd have to have a little bit but you don't have to go all in and then uh being a prequel right a prequel to the movies could be in the same universe fictional universe but doesn't have to be and it's about the origin of the mask that's interesting. And, you know, I guess if you're going to do that, I almost feel like you'd want to be part of the cinematic universe of Scream, right? Because you'd want to, almost like Hogwarts Legacy, Hogwarts Legacy makes the game, they make Hogwarts Castle, they make all this stuff. It's not canon, but the developers themselves said they want it to be canon. They would love that. I mean, that would be like an honor to them, right? To be uh, their stuff, I should say, right? Accepted into the greater wizarding world lore that'd be like an honor and they've said that out loud you know i've talked to some of them and so for when it comes to scream i feel like it should be the same way maybe they're doing it at the base level just to do it but they'd also say well you know it's not technically in the scream universe but we'd really love it if you know we could get that blessing from whoever maybe kevin williamson gives a stamp of approval and says yeah that's a good origin for the mask right i think 
hopefully that's kind of what we're looking at so there you go there's some new stuff he told me a few more details behind the scenes but he didn't mention it in the video so i'll leave that <laughs> i'll leave that in my head uh just to kind of respect to him i don't know if I, you're supposed to say it out loud uh some additional details look at the end of the day still needs to get announced still needs to happen and uh we're waiting on that again i want to believe in the tipster i fully believe he's the guy behind all this in fact he he said it out loud but remember when the leak started he wasn't the one who said it originally, but we didn't know who said it originally. I think he told somebody. Here's what I think happened. I think the tipster told the individual who told Beyond the Mask. That's how I think it went. And when Beyond the Mask published it and made like the rumor kind of mainstream, the tipster jumped on it and said, oh, I've heard a similar thing, but he actually is the one who did in the first place. That's, that's what I personally believe. So that's fine, and I want to believe the guy. He's had a lot of leaks. He got leaks right before, um, like, a lot, like a while ago, but his Twitter got nuked, and it was mainly in the movie space. So we need to see him start to get some things right. If it gets announced, obviously he's right. If Silent Hill 2 Remake gets news this month, I think he'd be right as well. Death Stranding 2 info in December, another thing he said. So he's got to start getting things right. If we go through October with no announcement, I'm seriously going to start doubting this guy. But, you know, we still have, uh, what, three, three and a half weeks left, so we got some time. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed to the channel. Bell icon turned on. Obviously, if I hear anything else, I'll, of course, make a video on it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.